Hey guys, what's up? It is July 17th, 2012, and just in case you're wondering, I am recording this on my onboard audio because my sound card refuses to take input from my microphone and the desktop microphone I've used in the past. So that's why you're not getting any clear sound or anything that would benefit from my sound card because the onboard audio has to be used. Oh, I'm so happy about this after spending $110 on it. Anyway, that's beside the point. So today's video is about building your own laptop, and you say, well, you know, before this, before the site I happened to cross, you know, building your own laptop kind of revolved around getting an old Core 2 Duo laptop, or finding a very cheap, like, sub-$200, or sub-$300 laptop, and putting a new uh, chip in, usually Core 2 Duo, but, I mean, that's just not worth it. The Core 2 Duos are kind of gone now. I mean, you could probably find one that, like, has a 1.8 gigahertz one bumping up to 2.2 gigahertz with a new chip, and it would run fairly smooth with stuff besides games and, like, video editing, but it just wouldn't cut it. So, I found this site called DirectCon... DirectTron.com, my bad. Um link will be in the description, and it's mostly just a computer store, it's got a little bit higher prices, it's based in the U.S., but the best thing they have is they have every, they have like one bare-bone notebook every three days or so, or not three days, one just changed, so I don't know how long, because I've been following the site for about three days, um, and so it changes, and so, hold on, let me do one thing, and so basically it's a bare-bones laptop, it has no CPU, no RAM, and no hard drive, and it will support usually, um, it has the socket G1, um, which supports Intel first generation, second generation, and I think third generation, maybe not third generation, I don't know, um, mobile, Core i3, Core i5, usually only scales up to Core i5, um, and of course Pentium and Solitron processors. And so, you can just buy one of those. They're a little bit more expensive for what they are, because they're all dual cores, except for the i7s, which they never support. Um, but, I mean, it'd still be a lot cheaper than building your own laptop, and pretty freaking fast. So, let's go over the spec, shall we? Uh, this bare bones that I... that was the one they were having right now did not have any kind of name. It's by MSI. Uh, the two that I've seen so far are from it. Its model number is the 168C8... C8H003. I'll have a link to all these parts in the description, so if I mispronounce that, you can see it and you can copy and paste it easily. Um, it's 288 bucks. It gives you an optical drive, all of the ports, a, I think it's 11 inch, so, you know, pretty compact, um, monitor, you know, the keyboard, the trackpad, I think it comes with a battery, probably should, and an Ace. Maybe not an AC adapter, you know, I have to buy that, too. But, um, that's a pretty freaking good deal. Oh, I forgot one thing. It does come with a gig of memory, so, um, the extra that I added in here is just to make sure that you do not, you know, kind of not have enough memory. Because they only give you a gig, which isn't particularly, I mean, unless you're running Ubuntu, like, Windows needs two gigs minimum, so that's a pretty poor decision on their part. But I mean, it has two slots, so you can throw in, in my case, a four gigabyte stick, and then you can have lots of memory. So that's always good. Um, the processor is an Intel Core i5 2520M. Runs at 2.5 gigahertz. Is a dual core. It's rated at 35 watts, which is a standard for um, low pros, like low voltage, low wattage um, laptop parts. Uh, I bought this one from Amazon, because Newegg, yeah, Amazon is like four bucks cheaper or something like that, maybe it's nine. You know, every month, every, um, penny counts. And, um, for the RAM, we have four gigs of G-Skill memory, it's 204-pin DDR3, runs at, um, hold on, let me check something one second, actually. Uh, it runs at DDR3 1333 memory. Uh, PC3, because there's different speeds, there's this whole other thing with RAM, the PC, PC3 actually matters, and 1333, they have different speeds, just a whole bunch of number. Basically, it is the fastest 1333, uh, memory you can buy, and I do not understand 
how that even works, but I saw a new egg video once. I'm going by them. Uh, and that is going to be 20 bucks and a half. Or $20 and 49 cents, depending on how you look at it. Um, for this build, I opted for an SSD just because, like, um, this isn't going to be a primary gaming notebook per se. So, an SSD, especially how big it is, is, you know, pretty sensical. And so, we have a. What is it? OCG, OCZ Agility 3 180 gigabyte. This rings in at $150. Uh, it's 130 with a rebate, and you can find this, as well as the RAM, I forgot to mention that, on Newegg. And then everyone's got to have Wi-Fi, and this has a mini PCI slot specifically for that. So we have a TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi card from the Direct the Directron site. It goes up to 300 megabits a second, which is pretty freaking fast unless you're downloading, like, Napoleon Total War or Battlefield or something. Star Wars The Old Republic or some massive game. You're not going to see that much of a difference. Um, this is only 15 bucks, which, you know, pretty freaking good. And, you know, you get Wi-Fi. It already has a LAN, uh, LAN port um, in the shell of the computer, if you want to have that. Also, side note, with the SSD, there is a um, 750 gig Seagate um, Momentus hard drive which, you know, is an SSD slash hard drive hybrid. So if you want more storage than what the SSD is, which is, you know, pretty freaking generous, um, that would be my advice to go with. It's about 150 120 bucks last I checked on Newegg. And then they also have a 500 gig um, model, which spins at uh, 5,400 RPM, which I wouldn't recommend going with that, but if you're on a budget, you know, it's better. And so this all rings up to be $717.15. Oh, yeah, one other thing. The graphics is handled by a NVIDIA GT 520M with one gig of, maybe it's two gigs, I think it's two gigs of uh, GDDR3 memory, which is pretty freaking good for gaming, especially at this price. So, let's compare this to a notebook that you would find from, you know, pretty, pretty good um, manufacturer. So we have an Asus U31, sorry there's no image on Newegg of this model yet, so sorry about that. Um, uh, it's a U31 series, U31SDXH51 notebook. Now, this is pretty similar in specs. It has an Intel Core i5-2430M, which has a loss of 100 megahertz in speed. It has a 13.3 inch screen, 4 gigs of DDR3 running at 1333 megahertz. A 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, and a NVIDIA GeForce GT. 520M. Uh, the 520M, this one only has a gigabyte of DDR3 memory. So, how would this stack up to the other one? Well, obviously the other one's gonna win. It's got a hard, it's got an SSD, it's got, you know, a, um, faster processor, which because you can't overclock, that faster processor is going to matter. Oh yeah, one other thing, I just checked their site, my bad, the graphics actually has one gig, not two gigs. Sorry about that. Um, so this is about building your own laptop. It's modern. It's going to do everything you want it to do aside from video edit, which if you can find one of their bare bones, um, they don't have a lot. They usually only have one. Um, if you find one of their bare bones that supports a Core i7, go for it. They're about 100 bucks more. Uh, they are quad cores with hyper-threading, but they do lose, you know, some jiggle hertz. They only go up to... They only go up max to 2.3, I think. But they have turbo... They have turbo boost, so it'll be good enough for games. So, this is your video about building a laptop. If you like this video, please be sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. I might make another one of these in the future when they have a new model number that's interesting and changes something up. Like, maybe they'll have a bare bones of the um, new AMD platform. I don't know. AMD tr traditionally does not sell their mobile processors. However, this you know, is a great way for the do-it-yourself kind of person to make your own laptop, especially how it's cheaper and faster and smaller and weighs less and is better. Yay! Also, the screen's too small for you, has an HDMI and a VGA out for you to put it on your TV or projector. Or a VGA monitor, which I would not recommend, even though I have it for both of my monitors, which sucks. So, don't don't use VGA, kids. Don't make my mistakes. Also, don't do drugs. Um, so, please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And, 
you know, share it. 